Hi everyone. As a follow-up to my webinar of last week on how to eliminate technical debt, I thought I would cover one of the tools that can help you to actually discover your technical depth. So I'm in the XRM toolbox and there's a uh, tool called Attribute Usage Inspector. So if we open this up and then click the Load Entities button, I've already connected to a Dynamics environment of course, it's going to load all the entities and this is not a great one to show this is actually a bunch of demo data and things like that but what you do is you select the um, the entity you want to see and it will actually load it on the right hand side so what it's doing is going out and doing some queries on all of the attributes and stuff and as you can see we've got the display name the logical name the type if it is on a form or not and then the data usage so if I sort this by data usage I'm going to do it twice, that'll sort it from less to more, or high to low, or low to high. What you'll start to see is these fields have nothing in them. And then if you keep going, you'll notice that all of a sudden you start getting data. So this is a way to figure out if you have data in a field or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, export this out to Excel to do some further analysis. So up here is a button, uh, Export to Excel. So click that, and it's going to come up and ask for the file name. It's going to give me a warning about the, the data, so that's fine. So it's relaunching some queries and stuff. I'm just going to call this test2. doesn't really matter for, for this case. And would you like to open it up? Yes, I would. So again, the same, uh, same data that we had earlier. And let's do a couple things here. So the first thing is you notice that uh, back in the XRM toolbox, I had um, the account, I had to check the account, and that, that basically picked which ones to actually export. So it has two ways of doing it. You can view the data, and then you can export the data. And so we did, we did one of each. So the account has 3,150 records in it. And if you look at the account tab, it will show you the actual data breakdown. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the View tab and set my top row to Freeze. And I'm also, since I'm kind of anal about this, I'm going to go ahead and make it bold, put an underline on it. This doesn't have to be done. This is just for me. Underline. And then I'm going to go over here and turn Filtering on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by alphabetical. And the idea here, and I wish he would add a column for custom, that's the one thing that is missing in all this, is you need to find um, your custom fields because that's the ones you can take action on. So all of these ADX fields are from the portal a solution. And if I come down a little bit further, um, we have some other fields. These are from um, field service. And then finally, here are some new fields that we have created. This was off of a demo I did for an oil and gas company, so that's what those names look like. So anyway, so here's what you're really after. You're after a group of fields that have no data in them, which is going to be a low number here as opposed to a high number, and you can do this by the percentage. So if you want to, um, you can sort by, let's do, let's do a custom sort. Well, that's not going to work. Let's just do this. So let's sort uh, smallest to largest. And as you can see, all of these have no data in them. Okay, and again, you're only after custom fields, so here's some custom fields. So the next thing is, are they on a form? In this particular case, these are not on a form because I killed the form that they were part of. So the idea here is if you have data that is, or sorry, if you have a field that contains data, is not on a form, why is that? The second thing is, do I have fields on a form that have no data? That's the second criteria. Both of these are worthy of further examination. In many cases, what you will find, and we cover this in the webinar, is the fields with on a form with no data were put there for a purpose, and that purpose has ended or uh, maybe it's a process that changed or as the company grew we no longer collect that data as management changed they want different information so the whole thing about this is we're trying to figure out what do we actually need 
on our entity as far as custom fields go and where we can we will remove those things that are not necessary anymore so that's the first part of the cleanup and this is what we talked about in the in the webinar so anyway I just kinda want to give you a quick rundown of this um, this tool this is very helpful um, it's uh, pretty much gives you everything you need to know except for is it custom or not so again the idea is two criteria do I have fields on a form with no data or do I have fields with data in them that are not on a form somewhere so both of those criteria um, will lead you to further investigation to determine if I can remove the field or not okay or in, in, in the latter case where I have data in fields that aren't on a form why is that is there some kind of integration that's being performed behind the scenes that was set up say years ago to move data say from our ERP or accounting system over into dynamics and then we change the way that we do business and we no longer care about that data that's a possibility so you can't remove those without changing the integration so again just another talking point hope that helps